Hey guys, Matt with Anglers Marine. I'm here today to go over this 266 Cayman. Uh, this is Rabala's newest line of, uh, of, of boats. The, the Caymans have been uh, one of the top tier bay boats on the market. The, uh, the weight alone is what gives these boats the, the optimum ride that you can get. It's, it's a very, very different from a lot of other bay boats out there. The comfortability of these boats is bar none fantastic. The 266 came in for, uh, features the nine four inch beam. Uh, you're gonna have 18 degree on your dead rise. Dry weight on the boat with the motor is gonna be at 4,500 pounds. Um, sporting a 110 gallon gas tank. So you're good to cruise for a little while. Coming around to the back of the boat here, uh, this boat is gonna be sported with 400 Verado Mercury. Caymans do come standard with a jack plate. Uh, they redesigned their swim platforms a little bit, making them a little bit skinnier, allowing more space for power poles. So you can do dual power poles on these boats with the brackets, which this one will have. Uh, on the other side, you're gonna have your uh, dive liner here. You do get your trim tabs. These are Linco. Um, Caymans do come standard with trim tabs as well. So I'm just gonna go over some of the key features of this boat. Um, starting out in front, you're gonna have your anchor box with your pre-wired trolling motor plug here. So your trolling motor plug or your anchor line will run through this space right here. You're gonna have your Ford live well. And these are all on resistant hinges, making them easy to close and keeping you from smashing your hands. Um, the weight of this, the, the structure of this boat, all of the, the features, the hinges, the doors, the thickness of the fiberglass, you can really tell it's a superior boat to a lot of other bay boats out there. Um, some of the comfortable uh, comfortability options I'm going to go over first with you with you guys. I'm going to go over the family features first and then kind of move towards the fishing. Um, you're going to have this full bow right here. Uh, the recessed forward seating on the Cayman is one of the key features that a lot of people like. There's a lot of bay boats that are going to offer forward seating, but your seating, you're almost on top of your gunnels. You're almost the same height as your gunnels. So having this 12, 18 inch recessed area right here, and also you being able to lay to completely lounge, um, you know, you can get plenty of people up here. It's extremely comfortable. You also have your head access right here. This is your standard Rabala head access. This is one of the key, key features. Very, very large um, access door. You're gonna have the standard porta potty. Your freshwater tank actually sits right here um, in between this access hatch and your, your head here. Um, obviously, you can see the blue LEDs throughout the boat, making it very nice at night. Very nice ambiance. Heading to the back of the boat. We got this upgraded lean post here with the uh, ability to actually flip the backrest down. Flip up bolsters here. This is one of the most comfortable lean posts I've ever sat in. Um, it's very easy to flip this forward and down. Great for facing the back of the boat if you want to do that. Um, we also have this extremely comfortable back seat here. One of the most comfortable seats on the boat in my opinion. Um, very, very high on the backrest, much higher than a lot of other flip up seats. Um, extremely nice stitching on the cushions, it's triple stitched. Obviously we're going to have the uh, six speakers. It's going to be the Fusion Audio sound system on this boat. Um, you do get speakers on the top on the 266 and compared to the uh, 246 and 226. So you do have speakers in the top. You do have your map lights. Um, you, know, you have your blue LED lights throughout the boat. One of the great things about this large head is the ability to store all of your cushions, whether you're going to be traveling with the boat, whether it's sitting on a lift, sitting in wet storage, um, you have the ability to get all of these cushions out of the weather. So when it comes time, get on the water and do some fishing. Everything can be stored. Even these backrests are extremely, extremely removable, getting everything out of the weather. So you're gonna be able to put all this inside of your head right here. Kind of moving more towards that fishing aspect. On the right side, you're gonna have your 45 gallon fish box. It's on a very nice strut hinge, keeping the, the lid access very easy to, 
be held up. You're gonna have your drain in there. Again, it's a 45 gallon fish box on this side. Over here, we're gonna have your rod locker storage uh, capable of holding four rods. You can also use this as a fish box as well. Taking our bow filler out, you do also have the option to turn this into a table. So you get two different size brackets here. The second bracket, these brackets are stored in the storage compartment right here. The second bracket, obviously you can see it's a lot higher. That gives you the ability to have a picnic style table. This is a great storage area right here. Again, guys, great storage area right there. LED lights throughout the boat. Um, the Ford of this, the 266, also features front speakers, front cup holders, and dual phone chargers on either side. Um, moving forward to this storage area, this is where your trolling, battery, trolling motor batteries will go here. Just simply take this tray out. The batteries will be stored down inside there. You can see the breaker is already mounted to the wall there. Gets these out of the way, but also gives you very easy access to those if you ever need to do any maintenance. Um, one of my favorite parts about this boat is the access, and when we move towards the back of the boat, we'll show you that bilge. Uh, the front of the boat also supports the 20-gallon uh, live well. And again, this is a recirculating live well as well. All the live wells are painted blue because it's bourbon fish like blue live wells. It just makes it really, really easy to go from get out in the water early in the morning, doing your fishing, come back to the dock, pick up your family, your friends, head to the sandbar, you can't beat it. Another great aspect the 266 came and comes with, and this is a standard option, is the shade cover. Uh, it's very easy to pack away. Uh, again, when you're heading to that sandbar and you want a place to hang out under the shade, this is a great, great aspect, that uh, great feature that Verbala put on these boats. And you can actually add this to any of the Verbala series boats as well. You're gonna have your, uh, your map lights and your overhead lights all the way around your, your Cayman here. We'll go over the console a little bit. Um, Rabala does do Simrads, uh, standard option is gonna be Simrads. They did do the NEMA system in this one where you're gonna have your gauges installed on your uh, units here, which is a very nice feature. It keeps everything very, very clean on your console. Um, these are probably one of my favorite boat consoles on the market. The way they designed uh, these recessed toggle switches, toggle style switches, but they're buttons. Um, you know, there's just a lot of features that Rabala did a really, really good job with these boats. Obviously the Simrad, you can change your settings. You can create different combos and things like that. Um, making it very nice. You're gonna have your onboard phone charger right here. It actually will clasp around your phone, allowing it to turn on and charge. Um, this is a clear on audio sound system head here. You got your horn, you actually have a vent for this console. Another big difference between the 246, 266 is they do the full enclosed console. Um, 226 actually has the half windshield, 246 you get your front glass, 266 you're gonna get the full enclosed console. Your vent's gonna open just like on the 272 or 302. It's very similar to that aspect. Um, moving down, you're going to have your salt water wash down. You also, you also have a fresh water wash down on this boat. The tank actually sits right up under that front storage area right there. Um, all of your live well switches, your trim tabs, um, you know, you're going to have your Linco trim tabs with the indicators here. One of my favorite features about this is no matter where they're sitting, you press that trim tab button, they automatically come up. Um, you're going to have your bilge pump. Always, it, they come installed with the automatic float switch, but you can, if you ever want to check that bilge pump, you can just give that a tap. Um, your navigation lights, your actual nav lights are on the top of the console on the T-top, not on the front of the boat, keeping them out of the way from any kind of damage when cruising around. I'm sure everybody knows those people. Uh, you're gonna have your spreader lights, your map lights, your interior lights. Um, you also have red to not lose your driving at night, your night vision at driving. You're also gonna have blue LED. Standard, I'm usually gonna use them as the white. Um, you have underwater lights on this boat, your jack plate. It's, uh, buttons are right here instead of having like a toggle switch style button. Moving to the back of the boat here, uh, this is probably my favorite thing that they did with the Caymans. Um, the standard Cayman Access bilge is uh, under this back seat right here. So standardly, this seat will flip up. Uh, what they did with the 266 is fantastic. Again, if you're a, if you've boated a lot, 
you know how nice it is to have access to your bilge like this. Um, they're going to come standard with an onboard charger, two cranking batteries, um, all your live well switches, uh, your live well pumps, your, your bilge pump, the automatic switch, your through hole transducer, um, the power assisting pump, all here. This makes for great storage, but it also just, it's just so nice to be able to access your bilge easily like that. Dual 30 gallon live wells on either side. They do come with dividers. They also give you the option. You can either have the standard stem and water flow, or you can actually adjust the water flow with this screw. And then what that does is keeps you from you having to use the stem in there when you're trying to get bait out and things like that. You can use a divider if you're doing a tournament. Um, if you want to divide the, you know, pogies and mullet or anything like that. It's a really nice feature. Um, dual bucket access on the other side. Um, one is a great trash can spot. The other one, you know, be a great cast net spot. Come with your standard Rabala bucket. Again, another really area, easy area to access your bilge there. Again, these are all on resistant hinges. Keeps the strut out of the way and makes it very nice for accessing things. Same over here. You gotta have your Rabala bucket access. You're gonna have your fresh water and your salt water wash down hookups back here. You're gonna get two umbilical style hoses that come with uh, with this boat for uh, easy wash down. They're gonna come standard with the cooler. Cooler is recessed under your lean post here. Um, this bracket right here, I get a lot of questions about this bracket. <laughs> this bracket does hold this cooler in place very well. Um, it also is a nice place to, to have a grab bar if water's get rough. Speaking of water's getting rough, my favorite part about the Cayman, the absolute favorite part about the Cayman, is the fact you can run off in two and a half foot at five seconds, or you can cruise down the waterway and get back into some skinny waters. The versatility of this boat is unbelievable. Um, we've taken Caymans to the tower, we've taken Caymans, you know, 30 miles offshore, caught King, caught, you know, just grouper, whatever it may be, but you can also come back inside and wear out your heads and you're fine on your trout. Um, that's probably why this is my favorite boat we sell. I really like the width of the gunnels. I'm personally all the time walking up and down my gunnels. Um, just, just habit, nature habit. Um, me personally, I'm always looking for somewhere to put my phone wallet, my keys on the boat. Um, Rulat did a great job with having a glove compartment storage right here. Uh, they also have a phone charger, which sits right there and holds your phone into place and it will automatically charge your phone. Um, some of the things I really like about the, uh, the Simrad system they do on here, they, Rabad does come standard with Simrad. Um, they also have the Simrad VHF. This is where your VHF is gonna go. You have the recessed area for your venting up here. Um, nice and it's nice to have these JL Audio sound system, the speakers up here. Uh, the great thing about using everything Simrad and having the Mercury is everything talks with each other via NEMA. Uh, you're able to, everything's able to communicate with each other very, very well. Having the vessel view system is nice. Uh, moving on to uh, some of the fit and finishes of the boat. You're gonna have cup holder rod holder combos. You have three gunnel style rod holders down the side of the boat. Uh, you do have the six recessed, uh, very, very large cleats here. Very nice fit and finishes. You're gonna have two gunnel style rod holders on the bottom of the gunnels. This is your charging port for your onboard charger as well. Guys, the Cayman is my favorite boat we sell. It's a, it's a fantastic combo. It really hits all features for me. Uh, what I like to do with my friends and family, uh, it's an extremely popular boat. We sell a lot of Caymans over here at Anglers Marine. Again, my name is Matt with Anglers Marine. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by. We always have service boats on the lot. We can walk through a Cayman or any other Rabala boats we sell. We also do Key West, Starcraft, Texas, Bayliner. Invincible and Cape Horn. We offer a long list of boats that we can get you guys in. Uh, very, very happy to service you know, the southeastern part of North Carolina and elsewhere. We do a lot of out-of-state sales as well. Uh, we're able to build out a Cayman exactly how you would like. Any color, any combination, any motor size, options, trail motor, power pole, any kind of depth funnel. We do Garmin Sim right here. Um, again, if you guys have any questions at all, my name's Matt. Feel free to give us a call over here in Supply at Anglers Marine. Thanks.